Just wanted to give everyone a quick heads up. In today's intro, there's a little bit of innuendo and it may not be age appropriate for smaller ones. So adults, you may want to view this before letting your kids see it. Hope you get a laugh. Nice. Man, that looks killer. Sweet. What's this? Can you master the ancient art of the swing ring? Wait. What? Whoa, cool. It fits. <laughs> that was it. Okay. All right, concentrate, concentrate. Think about baseball. All right, here we go. All right, All right maximum effort. <clears throat> Hey, T, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, huh? Dude, what are you doing? Just testing out my new swing ring. Came with the Dr. Strange head sculpt. Pretty cool. This is, this is awkward. <laughs> oh, stop being a wuss. Good grief. So, why is the portal so small? I'm like, uh, doing the best I can. Don't judge me, bro. Hey, check this out. Okay, you can you can stop doing that. What's the reason for this call? Oh yeah. So we're about to reach 300 subs on the channel, and I was uh, just reminding you that uh, whenever we hit 500, you're doing this cup for me, right? Okay, yeah, I'll be ready for that. But let's just FaceTime from now on. Okay, sure. This is harder than it looks, you know. Uh... Hey, make sure you join my 500 sub giveaway giving away three hydro flask insulated water bottles. They're really cool. You can have it custom engraved with whatever you would like on it. You have to do two simple things. Be a subscriber to this channel. Number two, click on the link you see in the white bar here. Comment once and only once, please, so that everyone has an equal chance to win. Good luck. All right, taking a look today at XM's Doctor Strange. This is an older piece. Uh, it's been out a while. I think it was in some of their first few that they actually made. Uh, this was pre-Benedict uh, uh, Cumberbatch uh, portraying Doctor Strange in the uh, MCU movies. So it's not based on that whatsoever. This is a total comic representation. Uh, he appeared first in Strange Tales 110, which was in 1963. And uh, he's a little strange, a little more evil looking in that uh, comic. He's real gaunt uh, looking. Uh, quite honestly, uh, full disclosure, I did not follow Doctor Strange too much uh, back whenever I was a kid uh, in the 70s and uh, early 80s. Um, but... Uh, I thought the portrayal in the MCU, you know, it really sparked my interest in the character and uh, pretty interesting, you know, to see that he went from an egotistical surgeon, lost his livelihood, everything that made his existence and, and for him his worth and what he did with that, his journey to become, you know, this powerful sorcerer for uh, fighting darkness. So uh, interesting story, but... Um, so, uh, second full disclosure, I never bought this piece because of the head sculpt. Never cared for this head sculpt. 
And as you saw in the intro, I got a uh, custom in. Whenever I saw the initial photo of it, it was my uh, encouragement to go ahead and pull the trigger on this guy. So let's get into concept. So again, this is a comic representation of Strange, so you have to portray the magic power somehow. So of course they've incorporated the crystal ball, which I actually like, although might have done something different, maybe a clear clear one with uh, something inside, an eye or something inside uh, would have been interesting, but uh, I like it. It's got the sparkles. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but it reflects the light. Uh, it's interesting. So uh, they portrayed him levitating via the cloak, which I thought was very good. So with the concept on the outfit, you know, very traditional, uh, the way he first appeared, you know, or through the 70s, big horn cape with the gold fringe, red cape, uh, outfit, very traditional. I think he had black pants, but the dark pants are, you know, in, in the vein of um, the sash. You know, everything is very much Doctor Strange. Uh, you have the uh, book here, the concept with it, uh, the arms, you know, making the stand here is very cool. Second, uh, also in the design, you don't have to have the uh, that. You can do the double uh, spell casting hands. So things I don't like in design, the head sculpt. Uh, this was the the design. It's just a little vanilla to me. Um, I'll go ahead and bring out the one that I got. And if you A, B those two, I'll get a close-up photo of those. Now, it does have a little bit more of a modern flair with the hair and all that, but I like the gaunt cheeks and everything here. To me, this is just, whenever I saw this, I was like, all right, that's strange to me. Another thing on design is the Blue Man Group head. Uh, leave a comment, do you like this head? Uh, to me, this was a very strange inclusion. I think it was only a short run. I might be in error. Again, I didn't follow Strange. But uh, actually, whenever I saw this statue, it was the first time that I'd ever seen this. So uh, maybe that's just me and my fault. But uh, I would have done something else besides this head sculpt give a second version of this, give an expression, give something different. But uh, to me, I've never seen anybody display it with this. Maybe they do, but uh, I don't know. So things that I dislike about design. The original head sculpt's boring. I hate this one, never seen it before. I would have included a second right arm option here and potentially have changed crystal ball, but I, I'm not going to ding it for that. So overall, the design, uh, again, I like the fact they got the levitation thing and the way they pulled it off. The overall was a thumbs up on the design, but it's nothing exceptional. So I'm going to give the design score a total of eight. All right, next up is construction. This will be short and sweet. Uh, everything keys in nicely, very uh, sturdy joints. Uh, they may have a little bit of give. I think the uh, crystal ball arm has a little bit of give, but uh, this is all one piece, so it's rock solid. So a construction ding, one thing that I dislike is the LED in here, and I'll show that lit up in the dark, is very weak. I don't know what technology if they had LED light bars at that time I would assume they did but they should have had a stronger LED here to illuminate and throw more especially when you have a lit up cabinet you basically don't see this and I keep knocking this off that's not a construction flaw that's a me hitting it flaw so uh but that would be the only ding I would have that the LED is very weak uh very sad let me turn it on for here so I don't even know if you can see that on the uh camera but it is very 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 weak in the light uh, you can see it but on the shelf it doesn't really carry too much presence so overall construction he's rock solid i think this was a miss here so i'm going to give construction a score of nine all right let's check out the sculpt 
Overall, it's very well sculpted. Uh, you have the base with these uh, ruin type, so it looks like a triangle or a V with a, I'm not exactly sure what the ruins are supposed to be, but very interesting. Uh, the uh, sculpting on the uh, edge of the cape uh, is very nice. The uh, eye on the back there, his uh, bracer gauntlets here. He has this jewel at the back side of him. Uh, it is interesting stylistic choice that they made it more of a uh, bracer type with a glove versus the traditional look uh, that they did there. Again, I'll discuss that in paint, but uh, nice detailing on it with the little uh, mystic emblems there. Sash is very well done. Uh, no complaints there. Really like the uh, engraving and the uh, emblem there. Uh, just adds a little bit of depth there. Also covering in sculpt here is the uh, detailing of the uh, arms and hands in this stand here. There's a lot of detailing in this. Uh, the, veining and the uh, ligature uh, on the back of the hands here is exceptionally well done. If they had, I think, spent a little bit more time on the head sculpts there, uh, they may have had a, a bigger winner on their hands. So again, where we missed on sculpt is the head sculpts. Uh, to me, boring and what? So that's going to be the two biggest dings and I'm actually going to give it two dings on this. So I'm very impressed with the sculpt overall. I think it was well done, but the two head sculpts are going to get a ding each because it's the reason I didn't buy it. Matter of fact, I was going to give it a score of eight. I'm actually going to give it a score of seven because I didn't actually even desire. I liked everything about the statue, but would not buy it because of this. So Overall sculpt, I'm going to give a score of 7. Paint. So the paint is very well done. Uh, once again, XM always does the bronzing look very well. Uh, the base here is not the best. I think it was done better with the uh, fish on the Wolverine and whatever the other one that was that I had the bronzing. But um, it's very well done here, nicely done. On the, this is exceptional, very well done. I don't know why they didn't quite get the same look here. I guess they were just stylistically not going for that to uh, separate it from the look of the bronze of the eye here. But A plus paint, okay paint. I would have put a little bit of an accent wash around the hem of the uh, cloak and on the back here to make that pop and stand out. It's kind of flat as it is. There's a really nice sculpting and details in here that just kind of gets lost in the flat um, gold there. So if you can see uh, the in the uh, ga uh, bracer gauntlet here, you can actually see the wash and it's a little bit more of an antique gold. Now I have no problem in the fact that they went, you know, one color gold here and one color there to give it a uh, variety. But uh, nicely done. Uh, the like the shading in the cape is is the way I like it. It's there, but not something that you immediately notice and go, oh, I see black, you know, or, or see a darker red or whatever. Very nicely done there. I like that. Um, could have maybe used a little bit of texturing. You have a little bit of thing going on with uh, that Mysterio had that is just kind of okay, you know, uh, just a flat, smooth surface. One thing I do not like, and we'll get a ding. Traditional Doctor Strange had gold gloves, not bracers and black gloves. So not quite sure why they went all traditional on him and then chose to do that different. And one of the things that would have made the crystal ball here pop to me to have gone with the gold glove all the way out. Don't really make sense to me there. The paint on this is nice. It's nicely done. It's a little bit flat. There's nothing exceptional about it, but there's nothing poor either. The paint on the side of the hair here is kind of, you know, so, but I think it's just the expression that's just kind of, you know, maybe a little bit gone or more pulled like the cheeks here would have been better. Again, that sculpt, but uh, paint overall is very well done, but again, nothing exceptional. So paint will get a score of eight. Okay, shelf presence, how does he pop? 
This one actually surprises me uh, that I'm going to give it a score of nine on this. Uh, the other day I had someone walked in and they're going, oh, that's a cool Dr. Strange. It was the first one that they noticed. And he actually does. There's some statues that close up, they're okay. And then from two or three feet away, they shine a little bit more. I think that's the case with him. On a shelf, the bright red cape, he's levitating. People do know the character from the MCU. He actually does carry a pretty solid, he holds his own uh, with other statues. Your eyes actually are drawn to him. Probably the gold, you know, the fact he's levitating, people know uh, know the character. So um, Presence is going to come in a score of nine for him. So before I get the collective score, I want to talk about the uh, custom head sculpt that I got here. Uh, if you want to PM me at, uh, on my Facebook uh, page, uh, I'll get you in touch with the uh, commissioner that did this. Uh, the sculpt is very well done. You can tell it is traditionally sculpted. And the reason that I can tell that is it's not perfect, you know, but it has a ton of character in that. You know, some of the lines around the eyes and all, you can just tell that it's hand done. Um, it's not bland. I like it. I like it because it's to me it's an artist that you know you can tell they had hands on and did this. They didn't do it on a computer, so uh, very well uh, hand sculpted. There uh, it has a lot of character to it. Is the sculpt perfect? No. I'm not going to score this. I'm just giving you my observations. The paint. He's a little bit. Um, he's a little bit. I'll say more of a yellow hue, yellow red hue than the original. I don't know how well that's picking up on monitor there, but uh, he actually has <laughs> he's the paint job. I would I would uh, do something just a, a smidge different with it. He's a little bit sickly looking in that, which maybe kind of pulls off the Doctor Strange weirdness, you know, um, gaunt look. It accents the cheeks there. Uh, I like the big hair flare. Maybe this is a little too flat in the hair here. As you can see, salt and pepper is kind of a mixed look. So maybe a little bit of a different blend in the paint job of the hair there. Um, sculpt, very solid. Paint is good, very good, but I could maybe suggest a few things on that. But it makes me want this statue. That head sculpt, don't want it. So I gave that a seven because of the two head sculpts. I would not ding it. I would probably raise it where I deducted three. I would probably raise two, two points for this guy right here. It went from a statue I didn't want to a statue I do want. So, so with this head sculpt, not considering him, that put collective score at a total of 41. So I hope you enjoyed this look today at an older XM piece. Uh, Dr. Strange holds his own. If you know if you have an Avengers collection, he's an awesome rep representation. Would definitely recommend uh, getting that custom head sculpt for it, though. Um, but as is, he's great. Uh, you know, somebody else, as I said, walked in and said, oh, cool statue. And that was with this head sculpt. So uh, they actually saw the other one yesterday and thought it was an improvement. So um, anyway, I recommend it. Hit up Todd at Spec Fiction. He'll set you up. Uh, he's got great prices on them. They're still available. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the review, and I will catch you next week.